Happy New Year's everybody out there on YouTube. Hope you guys had a happy and safe holiday and are looking forward to uh, another great year here in 2017. I know I am. Uh, if you know me personally, you know recently I was in a terrible car accident. Um, I got hit by a wrong way driver doing about 90 miles an hour. Um, I was driving a Subaru 2012 WRX STI and that car saved my life. Um, but this video is not about me or about that. It's about the garden, the aquaponics system. So we're going to do an update on uh, one of the mistakes that I made. And I'm going to show you my mistake. And then, uh, you know, hopefully if you're going to do something similar to what I'm doing, you don't do the same thing. I'll show you right now. Um, it's not that big a deal. I can fix this. But right now I'm recuperating, so it's going to be a while before I can get out here and dig this up. But here's what happened. We got a lot of rain. And my sunk sump tank down here collapsed in on itself from dirt and mud. Uh, I didn't build a retaining wall around it. Uh, see down there, it's pushed in from the water. I'm hoping in a week or two I can get this thing dug out and build a retaining wall and replace it. I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. There's the inside of it. Uh, I was lucky it didn't make a big mess and it doesn't look like it's going to be that hard to, to uh, to fix this problem so I just wanted to show you guys that so if you're doing something similar you know make sure to build a retaining wall around the hole in the sump tank otherwise this could happen to you I don't know if it will but that's what happened to me as you can see the yards a mess right now there's stuff everywhere I had to pull that off that used to be on top of here and I put these plastic drums down and used leverage to slowly get it over here because I'm hurt but here's the, uh, the carrot greenhouse. It rolls up on both sides with Velcro. And you can see the carrots inside. It's actually nice and warm in here. And there's some carrots sprouting. I don't know if you can see those or not. But uh, there's some carrots pretty much in all of these containers. There's, I think I counted 112. So we'll have a good harvest of carrots in here. Um, the greenhouse is helping keep the soil, uh, the cocoa core, uh, moist. Because I know that when you're growing carrots, and if the topsoil dries out, the carrot will dry out and die too. So that's that. There's more mess. And then, uh, I don't know if you guys saw this in the last video. I don't think I put it on here. I kind of messed up in the head. But uh, this was covered in this green shade cloth. So I took that off and I replaced it with the uh, plastic sheeting. So I'm going to do the same thing to this larger grow bed area as I did to the small carrot bed. Because where I live, it's not feasible to build a big greenhouse. So I'm restricted by a six foot height. And if I build a hoop house that's six feet tall, the work area inside of it's not very workable because only the center portion will be accessible to me because I'm over six feet tall. But here's what I got so far. I built these um, cross uh, ribs. There's one here and one on the other side and then one on top as well. And then I'm using the original hoop structure. And I just used some vinyl tubing. I cut in, I cut lengthwise and then used self-tapping screws and that's holding down the plastic for now. We've had some pretty good storms. So this, it's not even finished yet and it held up all right. But we will uh, come around to this side. You can see the my crappy framework. I am no carpenter by any means. I know this looks like crap, but it'll work. I know you guys are laughing. It's all right. <laughs> I'm trying to make the best of this year already, you know. Had my entire life changed on me last week, and, you know, that's out of my hands, and I'm just thankful to be here. Um, was really rather lucky. But if we look inside, you can see all kinds of plants growing in there. I've got the kale, of course, and then the lettuce. Uh, I had all the neighbors over last night. They all thought that I was a, a meth, uh, cooking meth or something back here. But uh, I showed them that actually I have a really cool garden instead, <laughs> which was quite funny. But that's all right, you know, people judge. Um, here we've got some... Well, it's not actually not looking too good. 
I think that the roots are drowning. Um, I have a solution for that. I'll work on that later. <clears throat> Over here we've got spinach. And we've got cabbage. Lemon thyme. And an uh, avocado tree. You know, I've never grown one of these before. I don't know if it's as... Uh, struggling, it looks like it's struggling pretty good, but we'll leave it alone and see what happens. And then back over there you can see the broccoli and things like that. I've got lots of radishes and more peppers over there. I'll go check out the tomatoes. Got some interesting looking tomatoes. Uh, right now we can only roll this thing up a little bit. It's, like I keep saying, it's not finished yet. It's still a work in progress. It's going to be a while before I can get back to it. But, here we go. You can see these black indigo rose tomatoes. There's a bunch of them in here. They look really good. And then back there, we've got the yellow cherry tomatoes. There's quite a few of those. There's a couple that are getting ripe. Some more tomatoes. That one doesn't look too good. I think the aphids got it. Take a look here. And that would be correct. So we got buttloads of aphids. Oh, look at that weird looking tomato. Shaped like a, I don't know, like an egg. And then here we've got the poblano ancho. I've got a whole bunch of peppers on there. There's one right here. They're not ready to harvest yet, but I'll be eating those pretty soon. But here's uh, my backyard mess. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned something with me. I know I did. The, the sump tank. I was kind of bummed when I saw that, but you know what? Stuff happens, and it's not the end of the world. I can always fix it. It's definitely fixable. It's a beautiful day, too. A little bit of overcast. We'll, uh, we'll go over here and check out the... Potatoes. Oh, here's here's how much rain we got last night here in Arizona. It's, I don't know, about a quarter inch or so. Anyways, we'll go back over here. Check out the potatoes. They're doing really good. About five inches from the top of this bucket now. So that should be a pretty decent harvest. We'll see. I mean, you know, there may not be any potatoes in there. I don't know. We'll see, though. <laughs> And then over here, the tiny greenhouse. We've got lots and lots of carrots and radishes growing in there. They're getting bigger. Not sure if you can see them through the plastic. But they're doing okay in there. And then we've got the Chiltepee uh, pepper plant. There, there's got to be a hundred pods on here. I mean, you can see just here on this one branch, there's 10 or 12 right here. It's completely covered in fruit, or pods, or some of us like to call them. And then over here we've got the yellow scotch bonnet, and it's the same thing. It's, it's covered in pods. These are really good. I like these. They're freaking hot as heck, but they're really good. They have a lot of flavor. And then in another month or so, I'll show you guys the, uh, the super hots that I've got growing inside. They're not ready yet, so... There's a decent sized pod. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's not even yellow yet, so that'll be a good sized one. Here's another one. You know, if you guys want to watch some other uh, gardening videos too, I'll just tell you the ones that I follow. I, I don't know how to post them in the bottom or any of that. I don't have a computer, but uh, big shout out to Rob Bob. Um, he's got a great channel. He's really cool. Um, Citizen Pang. He's another one that uh, has a lot of great content. Um, if you're into really hot peppers, um, check out Kang Star. He also does some cool videos with uh, microgreens and stuff too. Things that, you know, if you have kids, it's something you can do at home with them. Um, another local aquaponics guy. Um, I don't know him personally, but he's got a great channel too. His name's uh, Larry AZ. So he and I both live in Phoenix, Arizona. 
or Arizona anyways, and we're both doing desert gardening. So if you want to check out his channel, go for it. Uh, but anyways, Happy New Year's, everybody. Um, hope you have a safe and wonderful year this year. Uh, I know I'm gonna, starting today. Uh, just nothing but good things, you know, nothing but good things. Thank you guys. Goodbye.